What's up guys, Mazaku here, going to watch uh, the top 10 now to character all time by Watch Mojo. Now notice, I'm doing live reaction here, notice in the live reaction, I'm going to you know, push the computer away, actually show my face reacting to the shit, instead of taking somebody's entire video of entire fucking credit, and sitting there laughing like a fucking faggot the entire fucking, you no know, thing. But top 10 now to character all time, I haven't seen anything on it, just my first time seeing it, promise you, I ain't, I ain't about that fake shit. I'm going to see what the fuck they got to offer. And I hope I don't see something that I don't like. So, I mean, let's get into it. <coughs> Shit. Okay. Mojo.com and still be counting down our picks for the top 10 characters from the Naruto universe. Guys, Sensei, I have to use the bonus now. The condition Rock Lee, one of the most underrated characters ever. Period. And most shitted on characters. We've taken a look at all of the ninjas of the popular anime and have chosen our selections based on a mix of fan favorites as well as how interesting, relatable, and memorable each one was. Okay. Number one mistake he said was to base it off of fan favorites. I can already see Itachi Minato being number one. But, but, but go on. Let, let's see. Let's see. Throughout their time in the series, oh, what I'd give for just a few minutes with a young, pretty girl. Number ten, Jiraiya. I like him right and luscious. With How the fuck is Jiraiya only number ten? Big, but not too big. Know what I mean? This Shinobi is hands down the most charismatic. The I should have fucking known Watch Mojo. <laughs> Every time. The Yup. <laughs> they got Jiraiya at 10. Who, who are 10 characters that are better than Jiraiya? Close friend of the 5th and Sensei of the 4th. And of course the future 7th. Jiraiya is eternally connected to the greats. How the f- <coughs> Outside of Ninja Life, the Toad Sage makes a decent side living as an author of the adult target- He's number 10! Who are, that means you have to have nine other people, if, Naruto himself isn't a better character than Jiraiya. Oh, and initial heiress of her clan's head branch, Hinata was deemed by her father as unworthy of her future leadership role. Developing a deep admiration and crush from Naruto at an early age, Hinata shared the titular hero's goal to be a stronger and respected member of their village, making her so Hinata inspirational. is apparently a better character than Jiraiya. Eventually maturing to develop and master exceptional okay. skills, tracking and medicine, Hinata's determination made her one of the I'm gonna fucking make my own top ten fucking Naruto characters. That... Okay. I mean, to me, Rock Lee, I mean... I mean you know, Rock Lee, he's easily top ten character. Top ten character. I can't get mad at the rest of it. A is a really good number. Yep. He was pushed and never calculated on. Also, let's not forget his ability to open six of the eight chakra gates. <coughs> Translation, he becomes extremely inhumanely strong. I can tell Number seven, Neji. The person who fucking made this list isn't even a Naruto fan. Neji's a good uh <coughs> contender for a top ten. But he's not a better character than Rock Lee. Let's just face that. He's not. He's not. I can't wait to see the look of despair on your face when you learn that your foolish vow is impossible to keep. See, he was hyped up to be really fucking beastly in part one and then shitted on in part two. Which is why you can't have us, like, really a big contender for the best characters because nothing was really done with his character. At least Rock Lee got to be able to do something in the war or something. <coughs> but maybe this is just, uh, 
counting only Naruto, like the regular Naruto. But Jiraiya will still be fucking easy, top five contender. One can almost call him the Sasuke of his squad, complete with his own curse mark and a drive to restore honor to his family's name. But let's let's be honest, he would have forced Sasuke, he would have fucked Sasuke up at this time when they were younger. Number six, Gara. Gara. The upbringing was not what most people would consider a happy one. To ensure that Gara is probably like an original series, probably top three. Naruto had a good character in part one, two, say he would mean a, a fool his entire life, and that kind of. I mean. <coughs> Sam Barry. Fucking beastly, man. Regarded as a monster his entire life, the people of Gara's village, including his own family, eventually had their hatred unleash the demon inside him, literally and figuratively. Initially choosing a selfish life that thrives on animosity and cold-blooded murders, he eventually sees the error of his ways after losing a heated confrontation with Naruto. Gara is mm. powerful, menacing, yet deep and sympathetic. No oh, shit, my bad. Oh, I can't have y'all look at this shit. Y'all ain't right, catching me. I'll kill you all. <coughs> Itachi only someone with a shotgun huh. and kick a Genkai. Itachi number five. That's a shocker. I thought he'll be like maybe at least two or one. That door. shocks me. That shocks me. But in part one, he wasn't, you know, I mean, his weaknesses wasn't exploited. Yeah, I mean, he was pretty good in part one. I like him in part one. You know, he was really just there briefly. I mean, he appeared in like maybe what, six episodes? Maybe seven or eight. I don't know why he's even. Technically, we should really be. Fuck it. He is perhaps the series' most well-crafted and harrowing villain, whose climax is one of the biggest moments in the whole franchise. Yeah. The other Uchiha that you didn't kill, he must have been a co-conspirator. Because even you couldn't have taken down the Leaf Police Force alone. Huh. Mm. So you figured it out. Number four, Sakura. Sasuke, where'd you go? Don't tell me, Kakashi, since I found you. Okay, um, no. 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 I'm not, that's it. I'm not, at this video, I'm not going to cut it back, going and watch the rest of the list. I'm done. I'm done. I'm, I'm done. But, no. That's it. Calm down. Don't don't rant. We not rant today. Sakura Haruno. I stated this a million times. In part one, fucking sucks. Fucker. I'm done. This is why Watch Mojo isn't taken seriously by me. This is why. Some of I mean some of their lists is kind of accurate, but this, no. Sakura. All she did in part one was Google I Sasuke and say she loved him with nothing really love about him. And he never showed you <coughs> excuse me, any form of love. And then you cried for now to bring him back. Kicks Naruto's ass. You you, you don't even give a fuck. That, 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 that's the entire that's your own, that's your entire character in part one. You know what? I gotta see some other reviews on this. I know, I know some people outraged on this. I know they did. Uh, you know, Double Four Anime is gonna have an oh my fucking god fucking title. Um, but uh, he, uh, no, fuck him. But... I'm gonna make a top ten best Naruto characters list, or like an overall standpoint, and my own person top ten favorites. I mean, yeah, I think you guys would like that. I'm gonna make that. Um, hopefully, I can drop it today, and if I don't, maybe tomorrow or Tuesday. Also, need you to drop a video, video addressing like the whole copyright strike thing, but yeah, zero out of ten for the the video. <coughs> I'm I'm speechless. I can't. 
<clears throat> it sucks because I know under this comment section, I might have to suffer this bitch named Mankind or some shit like that with the soccer profile picture defending this bullshit. Defending it. Sakura is the worst anime fucking character I have ever laid my eyes upon on. Manga 2. The second one has to be probably, um, the best one, Kaze no Stigma. That's probably the second one. And she sucks horribly. And Sakura still sucks more than her. And fuck, uh, what's her name? Lucy. Fuck you, Lucy from Fairy Tale 2. I dropped the damn bullshit. Fuck fairy tale. I mean, fuck John Cena animated series, cause that's all the fuck that shit is. I'm gonna make my own top best Naruto fucking characters, the real one, and I make my own personal favorites one. So you guys just stay tuned, just stay fucking tuned. But this unacceptable, unacceptable. Any list that puts Sakura over anyone, not even just Itachi, J Jiraiya is the most inspirational. Well. But Rock Lee, he's motivational. Javaya is the most inspirational Naruto character ever. And I look, I love, I love Javaya. Javaya is easily my top five favorites. But this, no. It's a spit in the face to put Sakura over him. And it's a spit in the face to put him at number 10. It's a spit in the face. And this is why I watch Mojo. Look, they make top tens over anything, so <clears throat> I was a fool for thinking their quality would be worth something. Next, you know that we're making top ten dicks. You know, shout out to Muhammad Ali, because he asked, he, he called it. Muhammad Ali, he called it. Give it a couple of months, and I'm going to say a year, because you know they drop ten, damn near 12 lists a fucking day. I don't know how how often they drop lists, but I'm telling you they're going to have top ten dildos, top ten dicks, coochie. They're gonna, this, this is what they do. That's what they do. Next thing you know, they're going to try to pull a fine roads and trademark the word fucking top 10. But, whatever. Fuck Watch Mojo. And it's obvious. Look, it gets me more angry. And then the soaps intelligence of, like, not only Naruto fans, but anime fans in general. When they make lists on things. And you can tell by, even by the demeanor, the tone of the person narrating this. Or voiceovering the, the damn video. It's an, even a fan of the series. It's kind of like when we had the Storm Games. And they said, Naruto. Sin calling him the riddle, but the name song so scary. It's like it's already bad enough, like that you already make shitty, you know, quality or fuck up every now and then on stuff. But to get people to narrate the game who isn't even a fan of the series, it has to be one person in your studio to at least be a fan of it. Watch it, Mojo. Somebody to at least hype it up, make me feel excited, it makes me feel like I'm watching this video with another Naruto fan because Naruto fan is narrating it. But no, you couldn't even do that shit, right? It seems like you gave a normal person a motherfucking script and had them exaggerate shit that didn't need to be fucking exaggerated. You can't exaggerate fucking Sakura, how we know? And fucking possible. She fucking sucks and she always will fucking suck. Watch Mojo. Worst fucking list, period. If you really want to fucking, you should have contacted me. Because me, I know how to make a motherfucking list. I know some people may fucking disagree, but I don't give a fuck. When it comes into realism and shit like this, you cannot put soccer in any kind of fucking form of list. Not fastest, not strongest, not smartest. You can put it on the worst list. You can't put her in anything, no century, top water user, none of that. Even physically strongest, she's still bested by the best. Sakura Haruno is a fucking C to F class motherfucking character in Naruto, and that's all she will be. Watch Mojo, you fucked up. Next time you fucking fix it. My name's Mazaku. Thank you guys for watching the video. Stay tuned for more. Stay tuned for the top 10, the real top 10 best Naruto characters list, and the top 10 favorites. Until then, you guys have a nice day. Enjoy yourselves.